everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about the brand new Samsung Notes application. Now it is new here on the Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra, but I also saw that the update came through to my Galaxy S20 Ultra. So it is moving to the S20 series. I didn't update it yet here, just so I can show you the differences. So let's say that we move over. Here's the S20. This is Samsung Notes. One of the first key differences that you're going to see is this icon here. It's a way that you're able to add in PDFs. So if you have a PDF on your phone, you're able to open it up and then you're able to draw and write as well as highlight right on top of it. Now, if we go inside of this plus button, one of the things that you're also going to notice is let's say that we bring this down. This one has the entire toolbar on the bottom. So this is a way that you're able to do your drawing, your writing and everything else and select everything over here. On this side, you have the text, the drawing and also the coloring right up over here. Uh, and also some of the cool things is there is line separation or page separation. So you can see here, there's actually a very faint gray line. If I was to draw something right here, so let's say that we go and we do this. Uh, if I was to bring it on down, you're going to see that I'm on another page. Let's say that I put in another drawing. And so now we're on page two of two. So now if we move down here, you can see I still can't go any further. Now let's say that I put in something else right there. Now we're able to keep on moving down. Now that is not the case with this one over here. Even if this was a note, it did not have that. So there's a lot of really cool updates. But let's move right over into this here. We only got two minutes, so I'm gonna go over the, the, the bare essential stuff. So right over here, this is where you can choose between if you want your keyboard or if you like to be in the drawing mode. This next one's gonna be your drawing utensils. So you're gonna have a uh, fountain pen, your calligraphy pen, which is one of my favorites. You're also gonna have a regular pen, a pencil, and then this one is the calligraphy brush. Now this is where you can move which colors you'd like to use. You also have the entire color grid if you tap this, and then you can change how thin or thick you want that line to be. Now, the other cool thing is that when you're inside of here, if let's say that I go to this color right there, and now uh, we'll make it completely different. Let's say we do this one, and this is one that I like. I can actually favorite this, and then now this is where your favorite pens are. It's in a different location, but it pretty much works the exact same way. You still have nine different segments that you're able to save. So this way you don't have to keep going through changing your pen styles and your pen colors. Now this one right over here is going to be the highlighter. So you have uh, the highlighting um, you know, edge there. Then you also have a highlighting edge here. So this is going to be more of a, of a marker pen. Then as you go on through here, you can change again your colors and you can also save it. Now the next icon is going to be your eraser. Now this one actually works really good no matter which line that you wrote with. Just give a simple dash and it's going to go away. Now another really cool thing is that if you want to switch between your utensils between writing and then eraser, just do a double press of the button. You can see that it moved over back over inside of the utensil to draw. Double press brings it right back over to the eraser. Now, just like on the old Samsung Notes, especially if you got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, if you have any favorite pens added, press the button once, and now it's going to switch between all of your favorite pens that you have chosen. So if you wanted to write with black, which it's going to turn white because we are in dark mode. So if you do have your phone set up on dark mode, your Samsung Notes will also be set up just like that. And so that is another way you're able to change between all your different utensils. This is a lasso. This is just a cool way that you're able to change things, delete things, alter things. You can do it as a lasso. You can also do it as a rectangle. Uh, this one right over here, this is where you're able to change the indent. If you would like to move this around, make it taller, make it smaller. I uh, haven't really seen a lot of use case scenarios for that one yet. This one would actually change if you wanted to go over inside of text. So if we go right up over here, if I type in hello, if I go to text, it's going to put it in the text for me, convert it, and now we got the text written right there. Here's your back and then forward. So this way, if you ever need to make any changes. The cool thing with this one here is you're able to change the style. So right now this is red. Let's say that we want to make it blue. And then with a simple swipe or a touch, it's able to change that one to blue. So if you ever are drawing or writing uh, and you'd like to make any changes at the end and you don't want to go back and delete it and then rewrite it, you're able to change the style right there. Now this one is just going to be an easy writing pad. So if you say, hello, <laughs> you can't really read this. Uh, I'd have to change my, my pen here, but you kind of get the point. So all this is going to do 
is put it up over there. So this way you're actually writing something that is aligned. And then this one's gonna be pretty cool. This is where you can draw and then it's going to fix it for you. It's kind of like a, a shape fix. This was a part of the old Note phones and for some reason they took it away. So this way, if you ever wanted to draw some things and you want it to kind of fix what you're doing, uh, it's gonna make those lines really easy and sharp. This just means that you're gonna go inside of the touch, um, same thing with the S Pen. So if you wanted your S Pen to touch the screen instead of your finger, uh, it's gonna switch it over into finger, then this is your drawing. This is where you can attach images, PDFs, drawings, voice recordings, audio file, and a text box. And then up over here, this is where you have a bunch of different um, settings and options. You can save as file. You can sort all the pages. So if you got some of these pages that are really wonky, not really in the order that they're supposed to be in, you're able to make changes. Hit on back. And then you also have background color, add to favorites, add tags, finger drawing. So background color, right now we have dark mode turned on, so it's going to be on dark mode but you are able to change all of this. A bunch of cool different colors of backgrounds you're able to choose. Um, but we're gonna go right here. Again, if you do not have dark mode on, this will just be a normal white background. But that's everything I wanted to cover for today's video, especially here at Samsung in a minute. It's way over two minutes, but that's okay. Hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Famous, so, so famous, number one, desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I want